Hey there, Soul Shines. It's Michelle here, and today was supposed to be Creative Expressions video coming out to you, and I'm finding that I'm, how do I word that? Getting time to record them is really hard. They, they're long videos, and life is life, and taking kids places and all the things, and plus other personal things that have been going on for the last little while. I just, no. So I'm like, okay, let's reevaluate. What do we really want to do here? And so I have a new plan. We're going to try it out for a few weeks. If I like it, awesome. If I don't, then I'll see if I can go back to doing some creative expression videos. But, oh, I should put this on silent. So before we get going any further, remember to hook that subscribe button, knit the like button, and leave some yarn in the comments. <laughs> My daughter thinks that's the cheesiest thing ever. Anyway, so today I went into kind of, it's Monday morning. Um, I, I have a plan of things to record, but also I have a plan of things to do. So I wanted to kind of talk about my plans for the week. And if I move the light, maybe that will help so it's not directly in my face. I don't know. I'm still trying to figure out the lighting thing. So let's start with my tithing project because this is my tithing project that I've been working on. I change the sizes of my stripes um, I'm not thrilled with the fact that I have little yarn floats going up the inside and because of how I did it some of the um, some of the green shows through when it's stretched out oh well this is on my list because even though um, it's a Sunday project I literally am at the point where I just need to bind off and so I am binding off this morning. When I get done with my videos, I'm gonna bind off and be done with it. So it's on my list of things to do this week. Um, otherwise, it would just be tithing projects on Sunday. Um, but I, I'm trying to think. <sighs> Opinions, guys. What do you think of me making a hat in this green if I have enough? Do I have enough? I think I'd have to weigh my hat some weigh my green ball and see if I would have enough. Um, other options, I have, oh, do these match? Not quite. Yeah, these, I have other balls, but they don't really match, so no. Um, I could do green and orange. Really bright colors together. I don't know. I also have white, um, light blue, another dark, I could do another one in the same colors as this, different style maybe. I don't know. What do you think? I have different blues in here. Light blue, a royal blue, more navy. I've got teal, but teal would look really weird with the green. I don't know. I would love some feedback on what to do for my next hat colors. Um, so that is that. My other thing, which is why I have not started on my things we're making Thursday project yet. And the reason why is because my son that lives up in Washington State, his birthday is this month. So I have been working on his project. Now he started restoring um, dolls. And one of the dolls that he's restored is a Monster High doll. So um, I found a pattern on the internet. This just needs the ends woven in but I made this cute little dress and um, had really fun. His favorite color <laughs> is checkers. He loves checkers. So I thought it's not exactly a checker because of the knit, but it, it reads as checkers. So um, I'm excited for that. I had a really fun doing, a, I don't even know if you can see that because it's black, but there's a Pico edge on this. I don't, um, when I block it, maybe it will be easier to see. I'll try to get that done this week and put it up on um, finished Friday, so we'll see. But this isn't done yet. I mean, obviously weaving in the ends, uh, but I'm making a underskirt, so it, they'll go together and all the skirt will be underneath. A little bit longer than the thing. Um, I had quite a ways, I had this fun little texture. Why is that so blown out? 
had this fun little texture quite a ways and then I made a mistake and I couldn't figure out how to fix it. So I ended up undoing a lot of it, but I love the texture so much I decided to do it again. So um, this is what I'm working on. Hopefully it will finish this in a day or two and then I can get working on my um, things we're making Thursday project. So, and no, I don't consider this Halloween, even though Monster High could be considered a Halloween vibe. Really? I was so good about silencing my phone but forgot all about my alarms. It is lunchtime, you guys. I'm hungry. And my phone just told me I'm hungry too. <laughs> um, I have to take my son to work in 40 minutes. Uh, so the mosaic crochet come back tomorrow to see that my Edelweiss sweater, I'm calling it the Edelweiss sweater because that's my granddaughter's name. Her sweater is a part of my 10 gram challenge. Come back tomorrow to hear how that's going. Um, you know, sometimes life is weird. So I have struggled with just the blahs for the last little while. Motivation to do pretty much anything. I was doing great on my house, then I got the blahs, and now I'm getting to re-get back into some of those kind of things. I didn't pick up crochet or knit much of, at all for a while. And then when I did, I hyper-focused on that little dress, and it became a hyper-focused thing. So last week, maybe one or two days, I worked on things like mosaic and sweaters. So I am definitely not as far as I wanted to be for my sweater. Um, but this is what we have around here. I have, of course, you know, gotten my sleeves off onto the hook thingies, the holders, and um, I've done my first increase over here where this is at a little bit more than my first increase interesting little tip that somebody sent me is to however many increases you're supposed to do hook them all up here so that you know that when you've got them all it's a way to keep track i liked the idea um may or may not really matter with this because with this um I already did a try-on and I will do, I've done two try-ons, one when I got the yoke almost done so I could see if the yoke was going to be fine, another to do um, when I did the first increase. I will probably, right before I do the second increase, put another one in just to see how it's looking. I don't know. I may put it on before then to see if there needs to be an increase sooner or whatever. But I liked the idea of hanging the things on to kind of see. But um, I didn't work on this much last week. What are the strings doing here? Um, but I'm excited about it. It's doing great. Why is... Oh, that's the back. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, it's doing great. I'm loving it. It's going to be so pretty. Um, so, there's that. Uh, my plans for this week are to work on the mosaic, my Adel sweater, and my, this I'm calling the Irish Rain sweater because that's the color of the yarn. So, my goal is to work on the three of those. Finish the hat today. Work on the skirt. Hopefully finish the skirt tomorrow, Wednesday at the latest weaving all those ends and then um, I can start on my things we're making Thursday project which is kind of a surprise uh, but we'll come back Thursday to see if I talk about it I don't know what all I'm gonna say or not say other than I'm doing it I'm that kind of project I know what I'm making okay um that's kind of my focus. I'm trying really hard to have less things to work on because as much fun as start things, oh, more and more things, like to keep starting things. And I do have three things to work on. 
Oh, so mystery yarn challenge. I'm doing the bingo. This counts as one of my bingo squares because it's a new to me prod, um, thing. I could use it on the um, one weight yarn. There's a, like a less small weight yarn thing. I could use it on that square and I may wait and see what the what squares I want to line up to see. Um, but yeah, I'm doing the bingo thing. Just trying to at least get one row done of the, her bingo thing, but we'll see. Because like I said, I got lots going on. Um, so for the mystery yarn challenge, I'm doing the bingo. I'm trying to get my daughter to do the bingo. Maybe I should do a hat in orange just so that I get one of the bingo squares because one of them is making things with orange. And then um, for Judy's Creations and Crochet, she's got the bird of the month. I will put the picture up here, but go check out her channel to find out all the details. I will link her um, intro video for October down below. And um, I love the colors and I, May I may make a hat in that, but not necessarily for tithing because I have some yarn. I had just finished, mostly finished. No, they're finished. I finished my daughter's slippers, but I haven't given them to her because I want to um, have her on video when I give them to her and she hasn't been feeling well. So um, I'm waiting until so I can get her video reaction. So those are done. Or I would count those because they're the same color, but I'm going to use the leftover yarn and I'm thinking of making a hat. The other option is to make a cowl. If I could find either a pattern I like or make up my own that it gives the kind of feel that I want, we'll see. So um, there's that also. Those are projects may or may not start this week. We'll see. Anyway, I think that's it today. So remember to let your light shine through your creations, whatever they be, knitting, crochet, uh, latch hook, any kind of needlework, embroidery, sewing, uh, glass blowing, stained glass. I had a great uncle that did stained glass. Beautiful. His house was gorgeous because he had it throughout his house. Gorgeous. Anyway, um, so whatever your uh, things be, that's the back guys. <laughs> Remember to let your light shine and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!